everybody. You join me, Suze Kempner, here in the commentary box at Wimbledon. We're halfway through Andy Murray's fourth round match and I'm joined by nobody because my commentary partner is late. Uh, so, oh, uh, here he comes. Hi, I'm Tim Henman. Yep, hello. Nice of you to join us, Tim. How come you're late anyway? Was it rail replacement service? You can't control it. I know, it's a pain, but I mean, I just drove. Do you, Tim, do you take the bus just because you get to talk to people? And, um, you know, extra excitement. And be honest, they took away your parking space by centre court, didn't they? The biggest court in tennis. I know it is, Tim. Did they take away your parking space? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, mate, that sucks. First they took Andrew Castle away from you and now your parking space is gone. It seems a long time ago. Well, anyway, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm good, cheers, yeah. I mean, this match with Andy seems to be under control, so I thought, just for a bit of fun, we could play a bit of top trumps, OK? We're going to do Tim Henman versus Andy Murray top trumps. So, first up, first, first thing on the top trumps, who in their career, out of you and Andy Murray, got the most aces? Yeah? No, you're not gonna... Okay, it was Andy. Andy got the most aces. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, who in their career won the most Grand Slams? So, yeah, that's pretty obvious. Isn't it? <laughs> that wasn't a bad oh. shot. Tim, can you not interrupt? Thank you. So All right. Um, who has got the most variety of other sports other than tennis. From the age of, you know, three, I played rugby, I played football, cricket, hockey, golf, uh, squash and tennis, so... Uh, yeah, well, that's very admirable, Tim, but it was actually Andy again, because he had a trial for Rangers, which is a top football team. So, yeah, he won every category, actually. Does that hurt? No, it doesn't. Oh, OK, well... Andy wins. I, I think he was a little bit fortunate. Um, hmm. What's the main thing you'd like to happen when you're commentating with me? Hopefully not too many interruptions. All right, bitchy. <laughs> but you watch yourself play all the time, don't you? I bet you've got all your old matches on VHS. Um, I like watching matches that I win. Yes, <laughs> Tim. <laughs> Who do you think is better, though, out of you and Andy? Uh, when you're, like, secretly, who do you think is better? <laughs> I don't know if you're asking the right person. Yeah, it's Andy Murray. Hi, I'm Tim Henman. <laughs> yes, you are. No one can take that away from you, Tim. Anyway, you were born to commentate. I don't necessarily agree that I was born to do this because I had two older brothers. Well, what's that got to do with anything at all? Um... Oh, look, Tim, I am just being mean to mess with you. It's just how we are when we commentate together. You've always been my favourite player. High praise, high praise indeed. Here, watch this, this will wind him up. Tim, Murray Mount or Henman Hill? Yeah, I, I, I've always said this Murray Mount business is, is just rubbish. All right. I mean, so, there's yeah. only one name, you can't change. I know, I was only, I was only doing it to wind you up Therefore, anyway. Therefore, that was originated as Henman Hill. You can't. Well, that's all from us, actually. We're going to hand over now to John McEnroe and Sue Barker. Tim, we're back tomorrow evening. Oh, you've commentated with me now? Yeah! High five! High five, Tim. No? OK. What are you going to do before your next commentary sesh with me? You, you know, you, you can't focus on that. Yeah, well, come on then. I'll give you a lift home. Well, thank you. Thank you.